Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I'll be using my guardian angels messages tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot deck. You know, I welcome all you guys. Oh my goodness, I thank you all for stopping by. I am so very grateful, darlings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. Please know that I deliver these messages from my heart to your heart always, okay? And do please always know I love you guys, okay? I do love you guys. I know sometimes I'm a little strict, you know, but I love you dearly. So, Cancer, let's see what messages we have for you. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, babies? Not every message is going to be for you or not every reading. So Cancer, this is for you. We got the Two of Air. The Two of Air is the Two of Swords. You got to make a decision and you're having a hard time making this decision. Now, this is past, okay? We got the Knight of Earth. Ooh, being very responsible. Finances seem slow and steady. And you're paying attention to the details of things, you know. The Seven of Fire, whatever it is, you're above your challenges. The four of fire, happiness in your environment, and prosperity, contentment. The hermit, it could be that you're alone right now, or maybe you're doing some soul searching and going within and learning or getting to know yourself. The hermit, learning about meditation. The ace of fire, the ace of fire is about a creative new opportunity that's coming to you. You got the world card. The world card is about, oh my, oh, completion, accomplishment, you know, successful accomplishment of something. The release card, the ending of something and the beginning of something new. Remember when things end or a stage ends in your life, it always makes you room for something new to come in. We have the strength card. You have a lot of courage, a lot of personal courage, a lot of inner strength. Don't you forget that, okay, Cancer? So let's see. We got the two of air, which is the two of swords. Okay, so on top of the two of air, two of swords, we got the ten of cups, we got the magician, and we got the queen of cups. Who is, that's you. So the ten of cups, whatever decision you had to make, it might have had to, you probably did make that decision because it had to do with a positive card here. I mean, this is happy family. You're being magical. Now, it could be that you felt a little emotional making this decision. But you're a very loving and compassionate energy. You had the Ten of Cups, which is about happy family. Okay? You got the Magician. You're quite magical, or you were quite magical not too long ago. You got the Knight of Earth. The Knight of Pentacles. You're responsible. You're paying attention to the details. But you're also going through a broken heart. What's going on, Cancer? Now, this is past, okay? Like you had to make a decision where the heart was concerned. 
and it, well, you were very sad about it, but you had mental clarity and your wishes came true. I mean, you made the right decision. Whatever it was, you made the right decision. You had to make a decision where the heart was concerned and you, and it did hurt you. It hurt you. You've been with that energy for quite a while. You got the three. I don't know if you still have a broken heart. We got the three of swords. We got the ace of swords, which is about mental clarity. And we got the nine of cups, which is about wishes come true. Wishes coming true in your dreams coming true. We got the seven of fire. On top of the seven of fire, we have the five of fire, five of wands, seven of wands. We have the five of cups and we have the nine of swords. You hanging on to a lot of negativity for whatever decision that you had to make. It's got you in your head. You're feeling kind of, it caused a conflict, I should say, with someone. And right now you're focusing on the negative things. It's something that happened. It's over. And you're having a lot of fear and anxiety about it. Darlings, you gotta change that feeling. Everything that happens, happens for a reason, okay? You got the five of fire, which is the five of wands, the five of cups, and the nine of swords. Now you gotta come out of that feeling here, and I think you will. That's past energy now, okay? That's gone, it's over, right? It ain't hanging around no more. Now you received some kind of communication in regards to some finances. No, no. You got the Knight of um, Pentacles. You gotta plan carefully before you take action. Pay attention to the details. You have a guardian angel. And the finances are slow and steady, darling. You're going to have some kind of communication. Some communication that will probably be a little shocking to you. Um, and then we have the ten of um, pentacles. Which is about financial security for yourself. And this is unexpected. So I don't know if... I don't know if this is what the communication is about, but whatever it is, you're gonna to need to review the documents before you sign them, okay? The card says review all documents very carefully. It has something to do with finances here. Could be inheritance or something. You got the Knight of Pentacles, you got the Page of Swords, <coughs> excuse me, and you got the Ten of Pentacles. Lay down, Benny. Lay down, boy, go up there. It's fine to go up there, you know. Then we have the Hermit. On top of the Hermit, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Four of Swords. Are you reconsidering a romantic proposal? Hmm? You're worrying unnecessarily about something, either money or this proposal, something romantic here. We got the Seven of we got the seven of pentacles, seeds well planted. You're worrying unnecessarily, stop the worry, okay? Worries bring more worries, so please stop worrying. You got the knight of cups, the knight of cups, something romantic coming in. You deep in thought about it here. But allow yourself a little time, a little bit more time before you make that decision. You know, I don't know if it's a new love interest or something, okay? You got the seven of pentacles, you got the knight of cups, and you got the four of swords. You got the ace of fire, a creative new opportunity. You got the queen of pentacles, couldn't think of the name, and the Chariot and the Three of Pentacles on top of the Ace of Fire. Look, whatever is coming towards you. I don't know if it's an Earth energy. Uh, Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. This person is extremely generous. 
Um, they know how to take care of the money. They have the ability to make anything more beautiful. They love their family and their home. Then you have the chariot. Now the queen, I can say it could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, okay? But she also knows how to handle the money. Now that could be all your personality here. Okay, so it could be you or it could be whatever is coming in. It could be that energy or earth energy. And it might be coming in real fast. It might have something to do with finances too. Ha! Huh? Finances. You're coming into some money. There's something growing where your, your career or something is happening. Something is happening for you, Cancer. But you need to do the things that you love doing, okay? You're going to be paid well for whatever it is, your craft, whatever it is that you're doing. Just remember to bring love in it, okay? And set up with integrity and good intentions. And you will see amazing things happen. Amazing. You got the Queen of Earth, you got the Chariot, and you got the Three of Pentacles. There's going to be an increase of finances with this new opportunity that's coming. Okay, now I don't know too much about this romantic thing that you're thinking about. You know. But I see finances, I see money. And then you got the world, successful completion. All right. You're going to have to make a choice. And if you set out with integrity, whatever it is that you're letting go of, it was not good for you. And you already know that. It was bad. It was not good. So you have a choice to let it go or keep it. We got the two of fire, the two of wands. Taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices. Choices, one path or the other path. You got the ego card, which is not good. <coughs> but then we got the justice card right after that. So I say whatever is going on here or whatever was going on with this ego card, this unhealthy thing in your environment, I think you overcame it. And like I said, you will win if your position is one of integrity, okay? You find balance. You make the decision that you're supposed to make. You got the two of wands, you got the ego card, and you got the justice card. You got choices where this unhealthy energy is concerned. Now, this could be an addiction of some sort, okay? Or it could be something unhealthy tied to finances. Something that... May have you in court. I'm just looking at the justice card, you know. But you got the release card here, which is the ending of a situation and the beginning of something new. So we will say that is all going to be history quite soon, if it hasn't already happened. We got the Six of Pentacles, we got the Eight of Wands, and we got the Strength card. You got the Strength card over here, babies. You got a lot, a lot of strength, you hear me? Um, I call you all babies. I call you darlings. Oh my goodness. I, I, I know some of you are older than I am. Okay. And some of you, well, I was told, don't call me baby. We are, I'm older. Some of us are older than you are. I mean, then you could not, you don't have to tune in. Because I'm still going to call you a baby. And my baby, my babies, I still am going to do that. You know, I love doing what I do. I do this with my heart. So, you are my babies. Each and every one of you. So, you're going to find the balance you're looking for. Financial balance is coming fast and you're going to find your inner strength. You got the strength card again. You got the six of pentacles. You got the eight of wands and the strength card. Above the release card, this is about new beginnings. And then you got the strength card. Again, 
You really got some strength now, huh? A new beginning, you got the dreamer, the high priestess, and you got the king of pentacles. So there's some sort of earth energy here, isn't there? Mm, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. There is a new beginning for you. But you need to use your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust you. Okay? It's up to you what you do. But there's a new start. Or it could be. I mean, the King of Pentacles. This is about magic. Great success. Finances. Having the Midas touch. Everything going good for you where the finances are concerned. You know? Everything turning out right. Beautiful. Maybe it's a good person you're working for, you know? That's what all what I'm seeing on the card here. But there's a new beginning and you need to use your intuition. You do have that gift, you know. So let's see. Hmm. Something ended here. I don't know, is this new energy going to make you start healing? Or like, you know, really want to start healing and letting go of the past? Because they got the Queen of Swords next, right? And the Queen of Swords can be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could be you deciding because of this energy, you know what? All this old baggage and all this negativity I've been carrying around for a while, I'm going to let it go and give this a chance. Maybe that's what you're thinking, you know. Now, when you start letting go of things, it makes it feel kind of heavy, you know. And it makes it feel like a, like a load, you know. And not too nice load either. It brings endings and... But this here, this sadness that is going to bring it, it, this is going to bring you sadness. Whatever, oh my goodness, whatever happens here. See, the dreamer, the high priestess, the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. Why would this energy bother you if they broke up? Something ended for you. Endings, you had the release card here. There we, okay. So this is probably about healing, going within, looking within you. Maybe this energy that came in, this romantic energy that's coming in here, um, or came in, the, the earth energy, maybe they're making, a, Making you want to like really clear away the things, you know, that no longer serve you letting go of this stuff. And it's feeling quite heavy to you. You're stressed about it. The situation is over. It did bring you some sadness, but it also brought you a lot of relief. Whatever took place wherever. There was something that took place. Somewhere up here. Where, you, where the one you had to make a decision about. See, this is a little confusing here because everything looks so perfect here and I wish I had stopped here, but because this is a, you know, I didn't stop. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about these cards. So the Queen of Swords, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Or seeing the, the humor in a difficult situation. You could also be focusing on career because, I mean, I know your finances are building here. The Ten of um, Wands is about working too hard, too many hours. The need for balance in your life. Let others help you. Okay? And then the Ten of Swords is about the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction. The end of an addiction. Oh, I didn't even see that word. The end of an addiction. 
Remember you had the devil over here, right? Remember I said it could be addictions too. And you overcoming something. Oh, come on. Alright. You're going to need to listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs from the divine. You're worrying unnecessarily about things. You already made the decisions that you need to make. And you're just stuck there. I don't know why. Maybe because you're still sad from the ending. But you need to listen to your intuition. You got the two of swords here again. I can't make up your mind. You want to stay with the past or you want to move on to the future? I don't know. You're a little stuck there. It's not for long. You got the awakening card. And then you got the moon. And one last card. We got the four of pentacles. This is how we're going to say this. We're going to say, you found the balance that you were looking for. Okay? Whatever it was that turned upside down here with you emotionally is righted. Okay, you fixed it, you've come to terms with things. I know broken heart isn't mended overnight. I know what that baby is. I do know. You know. But I don't want you to get sucked in and staying there, you know. Get out of bed, read a book, go take a walk, walk bare feet outside, do something like that. Take a nice bath. Put some sea salt in there. Put your your clear quartz and your amethyst. You know? Take a bath and just relax for 45 minutes. Just relax. I love you guys. You take care and we shall chat soon.